Hello guys, this is going to be another quick video to show you uh, some of the progress that I've been making on the code for my RC controller here. So what I'm going to show you today is the controls for one of the tractors. So when we want to select the tractor we go into RC farm. I have the John Deere 6920S so we go down to that, select that and then up comes our dashboard and you can see up here in the top right hand corner we have a little battery symbol that is the battery for the um, for the controller itself so this beside it is an indicator of packet loss so when there's no bars on that means we have 100% packet loss so we're, we're losing data there uh, or we have no connection basically so I'm going to turn on the tractor so there's our tractor on now you can see we have all four bars which means we have less than five packets being lost in a row so that's pretty ideal you can see here our little fuel gauge uh, the needle has jumped up on that um, it's just above the red here so the battery must be pretty low on this probably about 3.6 or 3.7 volts I can't remember what I set those uh, limits to another thing I, I was thinking of you know in a car you get a uh, it looks like a fuel pump but it's an orange fuel pump that comes on it's like a warning light to say you really need to fuel the car now so when the battery goes down to about 3.6 volts I was thinking they put a little uh, petrol pump symbol in there just so you know as an indicator to say change the battery so we have two dials here we have uh, the one here is kinda like the tachometer or the rev counter and the one on the right here is like the odometer uh, gives you your speed what the one on the left here is telling you is the position that the potentiometer is at so if I push it full forward we can see that our potentiometer is fully forward we're getting the full uh, revs like it's like our throttle position nearly and if I pull it fully back our needle goes to full position again that's telling us that our potentiometer is going the full distance now if we look at our speed when we're in high gear our needle for the speed also goes to the maximum so we're getting the maximum speed of our tractor so that's great when you want to drive really fast with a trailer or something but let's say you want to pick up a pallet or a bale or something you might want to drop it into a lower gear so if we go down one we are in low two so if you watch the dials we'll get the full range of our potentiometer but we're only going to get two thirds of the speed here so our full range of the potentiometer is spread over a smaller maximum speed which gives us more precision from our joystick so you can see that we've only gone to two thirds now but we've got the full range of our joystick over that distance so that means we can more precisely maneuver the tractor and if we drop down a gear again we can go into low one this is going to give us one third of the speed for the same uh, movement of the the joystick so you can see there we have much more precision control over our speed now you could do this with um, with the high you could move your joystick really slowly but but it's a lot easier to do it when you've limited the speed range so that's just a feature I thought would be useful previously all my controllers would have been just like having this in high mode all the time and when uh, some of my friends were using the controllers they were trying to reverse the tractors and they might make a small adjustment here and the tractor would jerk back really fast so and that would uh, make the reversing much more difficult for them so that's what really gave me the idea of the gears now they should be able to get really fine precision as they're reversing the trailer and not jackknife the trailer and get kind of caught so that's pretty good you have the low gear for your precision driving and go up to high gear when you want to follow the pipe now the final little feature here you can see these little dials here these aren't perfected I'm not sure why they're not working for me the way everything else is working but these four dials are the positions of your encoder so the first one here that is the front link of your tractor if you have that on your radio control tractor the next one is the rear link of the tractor if you have that then these two are going to control functions on your trailer so these are like external external controls so when you connect your tractor first this first encoder should control your rear link which is this second indicator here 
and then when you are well, when you want to switch to the front link you just push the button down on the indicator or on the encoder and now you can control the front link but you can see for some reason something wrong in my code and I can't figure out what it is but something is causing the lines not to delete here so I'll have to figure out what that problem is but they should indicate the positions of the of the rear links on your tractor or, well either link on your tractor and the same with the trailer so there's kind of function one flick the switch to go to function two and flick the switch again to go to function one so it's pretty straightforward then as usual I put the the indicator lights on the two switches um, on the two joystick switches so you can have your hazards you can have your left indicator your right indicator so that's pretty straightforward then your headlights well that's your dipped lights so the way I've done it this time is it's like your car you flick on the first lights so that puts on your dipped lights and then once you have your dipped lights on you can switch on your full beams and your working lights and if you dip your lights again you turn off the, the other lights uh, I'll try and put some code in to catch when this is on so that when you dip the lights you dip the work lights and then when you put them back on the work lights come on as well but at the minute I haven't got that in the code that means if you turn off your lights you can't turn your full beams or your work lights on without previously having your dipped lights on so it's exactly like your car so say the dipped lights button is like uh, rotating the switch on the light stalk of your car and then hitting the full beam light is like pushing the, the stalk forward and pulling it back when you flick the switch the second time that's the idea, I was trying to make it as realistic as it could be for a, a model like. So that's kind of my little dashboard idea for the control of the tractors. If you like that, make sure and hit the like button and share the video and all that stuff. And any comments and suggestions, uh, let me know below the video. And I think that's pretty much everything, so thanks very much for watching.